another day another action camera and uh, today we are taking a look at the 1PA P4 camera action camera uh, this has a normal format not like the X2000 camera which is here you can see details that was a FPV dedicated camera miniature camera with FPV transmitter this one is for general use it's an action camera that has a shape and a format similar to a GoPro so it addresses another uh, market uh, here are the specifications as you can see it's mostly general stuff uh, only one notice this does not have uh, 12 megapixel sensors but it has uh, less resolution it can take pictures up to 12 megapixels but it will do interpolation to achieve that and here is the camera a different design of a waterproof case which has a latch on this side and buttons are intercalated inside it's okay because it gives it a lower profile without the latching on the top and uses known uh, fixing hardware screws mounts and the ones that you get on a GoPro let's see it closer and it looks like this 1PA P4 2 inch LCD screen 2 buttons here one it's also used for Wi-Fi it uh, looks very similar to another camera which is the SJ4000 this is a 4000 plus but you can see they look almost identical this one has a smaller screen this one has a larger screen let's see if it powers on and yes it has enough power and it works if I press this button again now it's in a still image and playback so the menu is very familiar to other cameras and here we get all the settings let me zoom in the camera that should be better so we get resolution this camera can go up to full HD 30 frames per second which is enough for uh, most users we also get 60 frames per second in uh, 7 uh, how, uh, sorry in uh, HD resolution but not uh, full HD uh, okay I'm gonna leave it in full HD we have loop recording option FOV you can select the field of view uh, wide dynamic range this will improve uh, contrast in some situations we have motion detection this will trigger on a recording when something moves in front of the camera audio you can enable or disable audio the volume for uh, microphone sensitivity timestamp I usually disable this TV out this camera has video out you can use it even on a, a aircraft on a quadcopter or so on you can connect a, a micro USB cable with video out to a transmitter and it also has a micro HDMI here TV mode you can select the protocol OSD on screen display the camera can do video lapse it takes photos up to 12 megapixels you can select their quality sharpness for the photos white balance you have uh, some presets here uh, also some color effects ISO sensitivity for taking 
pictures ev which is exposure value you can make the image brighter or darker underwater mode this will uh, makes the video more red when you are filming in blue water so you will not need to use a red filter on your camera photo lapse uh, burst mode it, the camera will take several pictures very fast uh, dash cam uh, enabling this will make the camera power on and record each time when you connect power to it and it also turn off automatically when you disconnect the power from it. Uh, license not set here, you can set a license plate number of your car if you want to and this will be displayed on screen on the recording. Date and time, you set the date and time for the camera. Auto power of interval, here we can uh, disable the sound in keypad though. Screen savers will turn the LCD screen off in the predefined time. Frequencies for reducing or eliminating uh, flickering due to light source and uh, country frequency. This will rotate the image. Of course, the camera has Wi Fi connectivity, and you can select uh, here the password for it and its name. It supports multiple languages. I'm going to go through all of them. All right, I'm going to let it in English. You can delete recordings. You can format the SD card from the menu. This will reset the camera to defaults. And let's go to version. And here is the P4. Wi-Fi camera version 1, so it's initial release. Let's also test uh, the Wi-Fi connectivity. I'm going to enable it by pressing this button here. Oh, you can see this button also acts as uh, a zoom option. If you keep it pressed, it will zoom in up to 4x, 4 times. That is also useful, and if I short press it, Wireless is on, password is as usual, and there it goes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, wireless is connected, I'm going to use the 1PA app which also works with uh, my X2000 uh, camera. And connect the camera. It's connected. And it works. It works nicely. Let's see what we have here. We have all the settings from the camera, as you can see. Photo settings, video settings. You can change the resolution dynamic range you can do video lapse photo lapse so all the settings are here even the frequency setting for the light so you can change all the camera settings from your mobile phone which is very easy so you don't have to navigate the camera menu you can set them up from here and of course you have live view which has a bit of delay but it's normal for this kind of apps and cameras you can uh, trigger recording you can uh, switch it to photo mode it also shows battery signal level and you can build a gallery show you a gallery with pictures and videos from the camera i don't have a sd card on it so it doesn't have uh, something to show me but that's nice because you can download the media files from the camera and you can share them on social networks if you want to. So wireless not only works but it's very useful and very easy to use. In the box there is a special compartment with 
accessories. Let's see what we get inside. We get a microfiber cloth for cleaning the lens and that will not scratch it. And we have a pretty impressive bundle. We have stickers, we have one manual and it's a multi-language manual. We have several languages here, looks like English and German and Russian and of course Chinese. So pivots okay. and screws of course we get a micro USB cable for charging it and transferring data, other pivot, we have a quick release mounts, adhesive mounts and we also get this nice uh, mount that has a screw, this one can go on a tripod screw and you don't need to use the adhesive pad. And this is a J buckle, quick release, uh, tripod adapters and monopod adapters. Of course, a bicycle clamp for handlebar for uh, other uh, tubular frames. And we get the open frame, which is very nice because uh, uh, most of the camera use a proprietary clamp that holds the camera somehow and has a screw up and down uh, this is more than welcome it's more like a GoPro open frame and it's more useful and you can see it has an opening here and an opening here also bo on both sides so you can put the camera up or down as you need so it's not only practical but only also useful sorry and those are the accessories are uh, pretty standard and but this uh, frame is more than useful uh, on the camera let's see what battery it has I'm gonna take the cap off uh, the cap is off and we get a 1PA battery 900 milliamps hour and looks like a SJ cam battery let's see if I'm right so I'm gonna take the battery off my 4000 plus and you can see they have the similar size actual actually they have the same size so you can use SJ cam batteries with it or 1PA batteries in SJ cam regardless of what you use they are both the same which is great because you can find either of them and you can find bundles on the internet uh, some come uh, with a charger included so very nice of them to use a standard size battery as this one can be now called standard even the cap looks familiar and uh, the camera looks nice I'm going to do a second part as this will be part one of uh, this review this uh, was about the camera, the accessories, its menu the second part will be video footage with it and maybe some comparisons with other cameras to see how it uh, stacks uh, against them. Uh, until next time, bye bye!